Did you know that the iconic Porsche brand has a dark past intertwined with war and exploitation? Yes, it's hard to believe, but the glossy prestige of Porsche was birthed from the grimy crucible of conflict. Picture this, the year is the 1930s, the place Nazi Germany. Amidst the turmoil, a man named Ferdinand Porsche emerges, establishing what would become one of the most revered automotive brands. However, the early years of Porsche were far from glamorous. In fact, they were steeped in the art of warfare. Ferdinand Porsche, the founder, was a pivotal figure in producing vehicles for the German military during the Second World War. His creations were not just ordinary vehicles, they were formidable machines of war, including the infamous Tiger tanks that roared and rumbled across countless battlefields. So the foundation of Porsche was laid amidst the chaos and destruction of World War II. It's a disturbing beginning, isn't it? But hold on, there's more to this story. Porsche's contribution to the war went beyond just designing military vehicles. The renowned auto manufacturer played an active role in the war efforts, but not all their actions were as honorable as their reputation might suggest. During World War II, Porsche's factories were a hive of activity, producing thousands of vehicles for the German military. But behind the scenes, a dark tale was unfolding. The company was heavily reliant on forced labor, employing thousands of prisoners of war and concentration camp victims to meet the escalating demands of the war machine. These individuals were not employees in the conventional sense. They didn't sign contracts or receive fair wages. Instead, they were forcibly recruited from the many internment camps scattered across Europe. They were subjected to brutal and inhumane conditions, working long hours with little food or rest. Their lives were dictated by the relentless rhythm of the assembly line, and their rights were non-existent. Porsche's factories were not unique in this respect. Many industrial giants of the era exploited the war's captive labor force. But the scale of Porsche's operations, and the harshness of the conditions under which these forced laborers worked, set a disturbing precedent. The company's use of forced labor was not a secret. It was a well-orchestrated operation sanctioned and supported by the highest echelons of the Nazi regime. Yet despite the widespread knowledge of these practices, little was done to hold Porsche accountable during the war years. The legacy of Porsche's wartime operations is a complex one. The company's technological innovations and design prowess have earned it a place in automotive history. Yet beneath the allure of the Porsche brand, there lies a disturbing history of exploitation and inhumanity. It's essential to remember that the polished chrome and sleek lines of a Porsche vehicle were once produced under the most brutal conditions by individuals whose freedom and dignity were stripped away. Their suffering is a part of Porsche's history that should never be forgotten. Porsche's wartime operations were marred by exploitation and inhumanity. This chapter of their history serves as a stark reminder that even the most respected institutions can harbor dark secrets. The end of the war did not mean the end of controversies for Porsche. As the dust settled on the battlefields of World War II, a new storm was brewing for Ferdinand Porsche. The brilliant engineer, responsible for crafting some of the most iconic vehicles of the time, was arrested and imprisoned on charges of war crimes. His alleged involvement in the use of forced labor during the war, including prisoners of war and concentration camp inmates, cast a long and dark shadow over the accomplishments of his career. While Ferdinand was held behind bars, his son, Ferry Porsche, took the reins of the company. Amid the ruins of a war-torn Germany, he faced the daunting task of resurrecting the family business. But the company's past was not easily forgotten. The Porsche name had become synonymous with the Nazi regime a stigma that would prove difficult to shake off. In a desperate attempt to distance the company from its past, Ferry launched the Porsche 356. This was the first car to bear the Porsche name, a symbol of the company's rebirth in the post-war era. However, this new chapter was not without its own set of controversies. The launch of the Porsche 911 in the early 60s sparked a fierce debate. The car's unique rear-engine design led to an unusual weight distribution, which critics claimed made it unsafe at high speeds. The 911 quickly became the subject of a broader conversation about car safety, with some going as far as to say it was unsafe at any speed. Despite the controversy, the 911 remained in production, its design largely unchanged, becoming one of the most enduring symbols of the Porsche brand. But no matter how hard the company tried to move forward, the ghosts of its past continued to haunt it. 
Allegations and controversies seem to follow Porsche like a shadow, a constant reminder of a dark and disturbing history. Despite attempts to clean up its image, Porsche couldn't escape its disturbing past. Fast forward to the 21st century, and Porsche was still making headlines for the wrong reasons. As the new millennium dawned, Porsche's penchant for controversy didn't ease up. Instead, it took on new forms in the realm of financial manipulation and environmental deceit. The infamous 2008 financial crisis saw Porsche in the midst of a high-stakes gamble that could have forever altered the automotive industry. In a bold move that shocked the world, Porsche attempted to take over Volkswagen. This wasn't a friendly merger or a strategic partnership. No, this was a power play, a strategic maneuver that would have made Porsche one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. But their audacious attempt backfired spectacularly. The fallout was massive, sending shockwaves through the global economy. Porsche's reputation took a severe hit, and their financial losses were staggering. But the scandals didn't stop there. In 2015, Porsche found itself implicated in one of the biggest auto industry controversies of the decade, the emissions scandal. Alongside Volkswagen, Porsche was accused of cheating emissions tests. The allegations were damning. These luxury cars, marketed as high performance yet environmentally friendly, were anything but. The truth was they were emitting pollutants up to 40 times the legal limit. This scandal, often referred to as Dieselgate, had severe repercussions. Not only did it result in billions in fines and recalls, but it also severely tarnished Porsche's green credentials. Customers felt betrayed, and the trust in the brand was eroded. Despite these setbacks, Porsche continues to hold a prominent place in the automotive industry. They continue to produce high-performance cars that excite and inspire. But with each new model, with each new innovation, there's a shadow of past controversies. Even in modern times, Porsche's history has been riddled with scandal and controversy. These incidents serve as stark reminders of the company's checkered past and the cost of ambition unchecked by ethics. The question remains, will Porsche learn from these missteps, or are more scandals waiting just around the next bend? Despite its dark past, Porsche remains a beloved brand. But why? Well, that's a question with many layers. One of the key reasons is the company's continuous commitment to atone for its past, along with its forward-thinking approach to sustainability and ethical business practices. Porsche's history is marred by its use of forced labor during the Second World War. It's a disturbing fact that the company has not shied away from. In the late 90s, Porsche joined other German companies in contributing to a fund for Holocaust survivors, acknowledging its historical wrongdoings and making an effort to make amends. In addition to addressing its past, Porsche has also turned its eyes to the future. Sustainability is now at the core of its business model. The company is investing heavily in electric vehicles with the launch of the all-electric Taycan model in 2019. This is a clear testament to Porsche's commitment to reducing its carbon footprint and leading the auto industry into a greener future. Porsche's ethical business practices extend beyond just its products. The company has established a comprehensive compliance management system to prevent legal violations and it regularly carries out audits to ensure adherence to its ethical guidelines. This proactive approach to corporate responsibility is a significant factor in Porsche's enduring popularity. The brand's appeal also lies in its ability to consistently deliver high-quality, high-performance vehicles. Porsche has never compromised on the quality of its cars, and this has earned it a loyal following. Its iconic models like the 911 continue to be symbols of prestige and luxury, making Porsche a household name. So despite its disturbing history, Porsche has managed to rise above its past. It has confronted its wrongdoings, made amends, and committed itself to a sustainable and ethical future. The company's journey is a testament to the power of change and the importance of corporate responsibility. Porsche's history serves as a stark reminder that even the most glamorous brands can have dark beginnings. Yet, it also shows us how a company can transform its legacy by acknowledging its past and committing to a better future. So, what have we learned about Porsche's disturbing history? We've delved into Porsche's inception during the dark days of Nazi Germany, where it was far from the luxury brand we know today. We've explored how this automobile giant exploited forced labor, a grim chapter that casts a long shadow over its legacy. Our journey took us through the post-war era, a time rife with controversies that further tarnished the Porsche name. 
We've seen how these scandals continued into the modern age, reminding us that no organization is immune to ethical lapses. Despite these troubling revelations, Porsche remains a respected and influential player in the automotive world today. This stark contrast serves as a reminder of how complex and multifaceted history can be.